question. Um, just today, the Congressional Budget Office released a document. It's called an overview of the budget and economic outlook from 2018 to 2028. Um, in it, it says, as a result of the tax bill, um, the the effect on the deficit is that it increases the deficit by $1.8 trillion. And if you add debt service to that, it increases the deficit to $2.3 trillion. Um, so those are the latest numbers today. And I just want to insert this for the record, Mr. Chair. Without objection. Thank you. Um, Mr. Ratner, in February, you wrote a piece for the New York Times entitled, The GOP is Flirting with Fiscal Disaster. And in that piece, you noted that in the course of just two and a half years, the CBO's predicted budget deficit for 2019 had doubled from $600 billion to $1.2 trillion, largely due to the GOP's unpaid for tax giveaway to rich individuals and corporations. Um, you stated then that the mounting debt made exponentially worse by the GOP tax bill is already contributing to higher interest rates and shakiness in the stock market. So um, I'd like to bring your attention to a press release that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle put out yesterday, making the argument that the unprecedented, unprecedented stock buybacks or shareholder bonuses that resulted from the tax bill are a great thing because they'll trickle down to regular Americans' retirement accounts because, quote, one outcome of stock buybacks can be higher stock prices. So um, while I'm impressed by the creativity of Mr. Brady's office, I wondered if you could please respond to this line of thinking in light of the fact that the debt is skyrocketing, um, that the stock market remains incredibly volatile due to actions of the president that this body has refused to hold him accountable for, things like trade and, and foreign policy. Um, can you really say with a straight face that stock buybacks are going to help Americans in retirement um, and did this bill do anything at all noteworthy to improve re retirement security for middle-class Americans who are approaching or planning for retirement? Well, again, I, I would certainly concede that higher, uh, not just concede, I would, I would say vociferously higher stock prices are a good thing for America, a uh, good thing for everybody, but they're a good thing in very different proportions. And where the benefits go uh, are very different. Uh, uh, let's talk about the fact, for example, that but you also argue in your piece over time that you're going to, that it would impact the stock market because the increase in the deficit and the interest rates would end up depressing stock prices. Well, in the long yes, in the long run, uh, yes, there is a certainly a short-term positive effect on the stock market. In the long run, what we do about the debt and the deficit is of critical importance for the stock market, for the health of our economy, and for and for everything else. And if it's retirement planning, you are putting money away over a long period of time, hoping that you will get that return to help you um, when you do retire. If you, this tax bill puts us in a situation where our deficit increases, as the CBO report says today, um, we could be in a place where that fiscal irresponsibility impacts people's retirement security. There's no question. I think probably everybody on this panel would agree with that, that our fiscal policy is very misguided, ill-conceived, and is ultimately, if not corrected, going to have uh, damaging, if not disastrous, effects on our country, including people's retirement savings. And we took a step in the wrong direction with this bill by making that problem even worse in terms of its impact on the debt and the well, deficit. Well, look, that, that, is, that is my view. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. General Lady yields back. Mr. Rice, you're recognized. 